Zach, and today we're going to be talking about merge conflicts. So merge conflict is essentially when you have two branches, right? We talked about branches last time, and you attempt to merge them, but a file has been changed in both of those branches that's um, common between both of them. So let's say we have a file called hello.txt, and in each branch we change hello.txt to be something else. When you try and merge those two branches, Git doesn't understand which version of that file you want to keep, so you have to go and manually tell Git, okay, I want to keep these lines from here and these lines from here, etc. So let's look at how that works. So let's do git checkout master, get under the master branch. We'll create a new branch, call it uh, merge conflict, and we'll check out to merge conflict. Okay, so now we're working on a branch called merge conflict, and we can always check where we are, git status on branch merge conflict. Okay. So let's go into our goodbye text file, right? Which is one of the files from our git practice um, project. It says goodbye forever. So let's change this to goodbye my friend. Save that. And if we check now git status, we have modified goodbye.txt. We haven't staged it for um, to be pushed to our main project. So let's do git add negative u. This is the command I haven't gone over yet. And ne negative u just updates all files that are already being tracked by git. So we'll do that and we'll check the status and it worked. We are now ready to commit. So git commit negative m modified goodbye. And we'll push this to our branch. Git push origin merge conflict. Okay, now let's look at what happened in GitHub. We have a successful merge, or sorry, successful push to GitHub. And now we have a new branch, two branches. That's exactly what we want. And like so, we have a merge conflict right here, where if we go into the goodbye.txt file, we should see, what did I say, goodbye my friend, I think is what it was. Yes, goodbye my friend. Okay, so let's go back to our master. And let's go in and manually change goodbye.txt. Oh, wrong branch. Switch to master. There we go. So now here it's goodbye. So let's say we have another person working on it. They're just working on the main GitHub console. And they think, hey, let's change it to um, adios. Maybe it's our friend from Spain. OK, so they're going to change it to adios. and. Let's see what happens. So since we're committing directly to the master, this should work fine. And there we go, we have adios. And let's go and try and merge, just like we did last time, okay? So go to our second branch, merge conflict. <clears throat> Not clone or download, there should be a way to make a pull request. There it is, pull request. Okay, so now we're going to launch a pull request, same as before. So nothing right now has changed, right? And so we're checking mergeability. And we'll wait for that to finish checking. Can't automatically merge, right? Because like I said, if we're changing <clears throat> if we're changing a file in both branch, GitHub doesn't know how to resolve that conflict. So we'll create the pull request just the same, and it's going to direct us to a page to handle merge conflicts automatically. You'll see what that looks like in just one second. And that's generally where you defer to whoever's managing the project to kind of go through, because they're going to have kind of a, a overarching view of what needs to be done and what code is going to be optimal. But this is a pretty simple example for something like a text file. If you have something like a really confusing file format where everything's in hexadecimal, it's going to be nearly impossible to handle merge conflict, which is why you really want to try and avoid these when you get into more complex files. So what it's going to show is here in the merge conflict branch, this is what we have. And then in the master branch, this is what we have. So I like goodbye my friend a little more, so we're going to keep that one. So to keep it, we just delete the code from the other project, delete all the extra tags, and here we are with just our text. And we mark it as resolved. And then we're able to commit our merge. So you see just kind of one basic example of a merge conflict and how to deal with that. And so that'll help you when you're trying to work on feature branches and some people might not communicate well what they were working on. You end up with these small little problems and this is a pretty easy way to resolve those problems.
Okay, now same as before, we're, we're detected or we're directed here, so we can merge our branch. And it's merging. And then same as before, we're just going to get the pull request successfully merged and closed. Excellent. So now we have no pull requests. If we look at our goodbye.txt file, it should say goodbye, my friend. Merge branch master and merge conflict. Goodbye, my friend. Excellent. Okay. And then we can just go close the branch if we want, but it should be good to go from there. So there you go. That's how you handle a merge conflict in GitHub. I hope that cleared some things up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you.